Hello Exiles, how are you doing today? I hope you're all good and welcome to a new video. So in this video, I want to be talking about my episode 3 of the Project Mage Blood series that I've been running. And uh, so let's get into it. Um, for this project, I was running Blight and Boss Rushing on a on carcass map right so let me let me just show you the setup i was running this is the atlas passive this will be in the description below basically i took all of the blight notes that were useful i, I didn't take this one because i was using scarabs i didn't take chance because i was using scarabs and i did not take cassius pride because my minions were doing enough damage and my towers were quite okay i was also running searing exact for the for the invitation so i so i took the double double progress then i also took the vivid memories remnant of the past and uh, conquered conquered conquerors for to gain more conqueror maps then i also took as much map duplication as i can possibly get so that is the atlas passive then as for my map of choice it was carcass or crimson tempo whenever i ran out of carcass maps because i only bought 10 to begin with and i literally self-sustained from then on to the end right i was bouncing between carcass and um, crimson tempo as for sextants i was running oils in your maps are one tier higher and additional conqueror map drops on completing your maps right so Let's take a look at the results quickly. Uh, also, I need to open the, the item, what do you call it? The um, POE stack, yeah. I need to open POE stack quickly. And also I need to open the document so that we can, uh, we can update it as we go, as we count what we got. So this is POE stack. I'm just going to do a stash view and show you guys the stash that I will be showing you how what we got. So you know what, let me actually go in the blight because I want to take out these blight maps so that they won't be shown on the stash view because we have a lot of them and I'm going to price them using TFT price, not the per price one on price oh yeah also i upgraded all my oils to silver uh, these were these were natural drops natural drops and i got these from um, oil extractors on rings on jewelries most of some of them as well in uh, natural drops yeah so um let's see where's pure stack Okay, here it is. Uh, I'm going to take off this blight node stash tab and I'll keep this blight. Uh, let's reload the instance first because, because it will load the previous instance and uh, the details will be inaccurate. Okay, so let's take a look now. Um, load tabs. So, in these tabs, we have 40 defines, right? This is not counting all any of my maps that I dropped, okay? So, we got the 30 oils, they are giving us about 10 defines. I, I had 7 broad defines drop, which is 7 defines. We've got 42 silver oils, 6.6. .6. We've got 4 incandescent invitations. I dropped the nurse because apparently in the carcass map, you can drop the nurse. And then I dropped one Aina's memory of, uh, which is about 1.2 defines, which is the essence memory. And then these are other random small drops. But I was trying to pick up any, not to pick up anything that was below 1C, okay? So all of these drops are things that, are, that can be sold very, very easily. Now let's take a look at maps. Now, for now we are at 40 defines in total between our Blight Oils and the Dump Folder. Now let's take a look at the maps that we got so i have 60 in this tab 
and then this is a full tab again this is 144 plus 60 that's 204 and then plus a few that are in here that's five that's 209 is that correct yes 209 black maps and they are selling for a divine for 20 on discord on tft server so that means we've got 10 divines worth of maps here so let me just note that down uh dump tab what dump tab we've got um 40 div and then blight maps we've got 10 div in blight maps then we have other maps as well these ones these maps so for the conqueror maps these ones are selling for about 40 c each on tft right if it let's just uh let me just open discord and verify this quickly right but basically it's one divine but two full sets on tft that was the basic price that i checked out last time for conqueror maps so we have 22 full sets which gives us 11 divines so i'm just going to put 12 divines to put to cover the rest of them right so maps i'm just going to put 12 divines on on them right and then uh that's literally all the loot that we got now let's see what's the total um The total would be 62 divines in uh, in easy to liquidate loot and we invested five uh, five thousand four hundred chaos which is how many divines is this divided by 233 we invested we invested 23 divines we got 62 divines back which i think is respectable um and uh yeah i think we did well right right guys so this is um this is basically what we where we are at um profit we are we have the 62 minus this 23.19 that gives us 38 divines profit profit per hour i did this maps in about seven hours so that's that divided by seven that gives us almost six divines an hour yep so six divides an hour that's not bad um for a simple strategy that doesn't require much investment well it requires a lot of investment but it's really laid back when you're playing the maps was the one thing that was expensive when i invested in these maps was the conqueror map sextants that was the expensive part right so it's a 65 strategy per hour which is quite respectable right and uh yeah that'll be it guys for this video um if you're going to be doing this strategy good luck and uh i'll see you in the next video cheers